Hi, hello, it's Tony again, and today what I'm going to show you is how to measure your throat erosion and your muzzle wear on your M14 or M1A rifle. Um, uh, just something that you really need to know about using throat erosion and muzzle wear uh, readings is it's kind of subjective. What I mean is uh, every barrel maker and um, every tool maker are going to have different specs that they adhere to. They have a general uh, guideline, but there's going to be differences in consistency between the makers. So, if you had, uh, if you let's say you had a barrel that was brand new, you may check the wear on it uh, without ever a single shot being fired. You might read anywhere from 0.5 to 1 to maybe even 1.5, um, which would, which would indicate a lightly used barrel, but one that's used. When in reality, it's brand new; it's never had a round fired. Now, when you're chucking uh, throat erosion, that could be uh, an even different ball game, especially if you're buying a barrel that you don't know much about. Um, there's different uh, chambers that have different leads uh, or free bore before you get to the, the the lands and grooves. So, because of that, if you have an Obermeyer reamer or a Palmer reamer or something like that, you're going to get a different um, throat erosion reading. Now, if you're using a GI barrel, uh, what's really hard about those is you don't know what the reading was before. So even between TRW, Springfield Armory, H&R, and Winchester, um, their barrels could have been reading different from each other, even though they were brand new and they had specs to uh, to adhere to. So uh, if you're buying a, a used barrel, throat erosion and muzzle wear uh, readings can be subjective. They can be misleading. Uh, the barrel may be in really good shape. But what I'm going to say about used barrels, um, and if you really want to know the condition, the only real way to check is with a bore scope. And um, if you don't have one, then you might want to go to a gunsmith and see if he would let you have a look through his, or he can inspect it. Make sure you have a gunsmith that you trust, uh, one that's not going to say, oh, you know, your barrel shot and you need a new one just to get you to buy a new barrel. Okay, so, uh, um, so with that, uh, what I suggest doing is if you have a rifle that's brand new before you even fire a round if you have one of these gauges which can be really expensive um, I'm not really sure how much they're costing these days but uh, I know they're not really cheap but if it really matters to you to know what the throat erosion muzzle wear is what I would tell you to do is buy a set and uh, use only that set because again because there's going to be differences in tolerances between gauges from maker to maker you may use somebody's uh, throat erosion and muzzle wear gauge and get one reading and then fire a few hundred rounds and then use someone else's and you may get a completely different reading because you didn't use the same gauge. So uh, just be wise on what you're trying to accomplish. Now if you're trying to inspect a used barrel, you know, um, what, what kills me is these, these guys that, uh, that use a 30 caliber bullet to try to check you know, muzzle wear and stuff. Even those bullets themselves have different taper rates. Um, every single bullet um, between Sierra and uh, Nosler, um, Berger, right, they're all going to have uh, uh, different, different taper rates. So you can't just use you know, uh, a bullet as a reference. Plus it's made out of copper. You want something that's going to be a tool steel, very hard, that's not going to wear out. And you know, uh, if you push too hard on a you know, on a bullet, you're going to scratch the copper jacket, and it's going to give you a different reading every time. Okay. Um, so again, your initial readings should be used, or if you're picking up a rifle that's used, but you say you want, you want to start keeping track of the um, of the readings, then then use that initial one as a baseline, and from that baseline, record it somewhere where you're not going to lose it, and then later on, you can uh, you can check it, and then you can check the rate of degradation. Um, after so many rounds fired. Okay, so we'll go ahead and, and we'll show you how to how to use that. Today I'm going to be using a battle arms development tool um, because it, it has a throat erosion and muzzle wear feature on it. You can buy um, you can buy these tools, um, not the battle arms development, the other ones, but ones that are just dedicated to throat erosion and muzzle wear. You can buy them um, online from Midway or Brownells or maybe even uh, PTG or somebody like that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we're going to start out with the, the metal arms development uh, tool uh, for the muzzle wear. 
uh, it's this section with a zero and a two on it. Just that section alone is all you need. Um, that's the one. It's actually used for both features, but to do muzzle wear. Oh, by the way, you have to take off your flash suppressor to get this reading. So from here, now what you want to be careful of is you have these flats. Now, if these flats land over one of the uh, lands that's uh, for the rifling, uh, it can give you a false reading. Okay, so uh, I rotated it to every. I rotated these numbers to match with uh, with the lands, and each time I did, it went in farther than if it was rotated between the lands. So you want to put it between the lands. <laughs> okay, um, and with this one here, what I'm getting. Let's see if I can get that. So this particular barrel is reading a zero. And so I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get the lighting a little bit better here. So anyway, um, and by the way, wherever the line intersects the number on the center of the number, that's the line you want to use. So So with this gauge, I have a I have a line, and then a zero, and then another line and a two. So the first line indicates negative one, okay. The second line indicates zero. Um, the next line indicates one, and the next line indicates two, okay. So that's how you want to use this tool, okay. And again, we would we would take this reading, and this would be our baseline reading. So again, this one here is reading, uh, depending on where you put it, it's basically reading a zero, so it's a really good barrel. Okay. So from that point, once you're done with that, go ahead and put your flash suppressor back on. Okay, for this next section, we're going to do here, we're going to take that same um, muzzle wear section from the, from the tool, and we're going to join it with the uh, throat erosion adapter. Okay, we're going to take the extension off. And we're going to screw these things together. And it comes with a nifty little handle that you can attach as well. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to slide this into the chamber and we're just gently going to push on it until um, until it stops. So this particular barrel again this one's actually reading a, uh, a negative I want to say it's, oh and also that's the other thing is make sure that they're tightened very well otherwise that'll give you a false reading. So this particular barrel is giving me a really good reading, it's actually as reading a zero so again, anyway, I think that's about the best I can get it there. So anyway, that, you can see the numbers there. I think that's probably a good representation. So you're going to look at which number comes right to the, the face of the receiver. Or not really the face, this is the face of the receiver, but the back side of the, of the, of the barrel ring is what they call it. So the back side of the barrel ring, you're going to look straight down and you're gonna see which line it intersects um, and you could also basically use the barrel itself the the edge of the barrel is what you can also use as well because you'll be able to see um, you're going to be looking down on this section here and so if you uh, look at what number is is right there at the beginning of the barrel that is your throat erosion reading. okay and again um, if you have one of these tools it's actually very handy too because it has um, a 30 out 6 adapter. Okay, so this is for uh, a Garand. And you just throw that on there and thread it back on. And now it's the appropriate length to check a 30 out 6. Okay, um, on an M1 Garand because it's basically the same setup. So uh, with that, that's how to check throat erosion and muzzle wear on an M14 or an M1A or an M1 Garand. Thanks for watching.